Well, I told you I was starting to get into more numismatic coins and I am, as of today, an accidental collector of Roosevelt dimes. And how did this happen? <laughs> In my opinion, Roosevelt dimes are just about as boring as coins get. Other than, <clears throat> other than Jefferson nickels, they're pretty stinking boring. But I went, I went to the point, the, I went to the pawn shop. I was mixing up pawn and coin there. And uh, the pawn shop I go to often has coins and bullion. So I always go just to check, just see what is it that they have. And so I saw this and I'm like, huh, that's interesting. Like, can I have a look at it? So I'm about to show you why I bought this book. And at the end, I'll share with you what I paid. But in the comments below, tell me what would you pay for this book? Would you buy a book like this? Now, first of all, let me just say before I get into the book, Dansko albums right now are tough to find. Um, this is the Dansko um, 8125. And this is about a 70 to $90 book on eBay right now. Now, the rumor that I've heard, and I haven't seen this verified online, so if you've heard this in comments, let me know, or if I'm wrong, let me know. But um, I heard that they got behind on production because of the pandemic and shutting down production. And when production went back online, they experienced a flood. So if that's, if that's not true, I apologize. Like I said, I have not independently verified that fact. Um, but let's get into this. I want to show you guys these because, I, oh, let me just get, this is why, this is why I bought these dimes. These things are as gorgeous. There isn't a, a coin in here that's not mint state. It's not full. There's 90 coins total in here. I have a total of 90. And of course, it only goes silver from 1946 to 1964. It's easy to remember because of that palindrome of 64. And of course, anything before that would be a mercury dime. But look at these. Look at how gorgeous these are. All right, let me just kind of pull the page up and see if I can kind of separate. And so it's cool because now I, I have... The, the cool thing about dimes is that the barrier to entry is cheap. And here's why. You get the mintages on the back cover of the book. And there's some that are well over a billion coins. 676 million for the 1981P, okay? Um, the 1981S proof. Um, the low mintage there of the 81s, 4,063,000. So a lot of coins minted so you can just pause and zoom in on that if you want to but um so you know a good dime is worth about eight bucks for a rosy but i think that i actually did better than that because of course there's that whole question of eye appeal right but i mean let me just show you the backs of the the constitutional silver I mean, it's just absolutely blast white, gorgeous, and um, boy, I got a thunderstorm rolling and I'm sitting next to my back door here. There we go. Did you hear that? I got the thunder. Well, that's uh, hopefully not too distracting for the sake of this video. But so, so it's going to be cool that me and my son, you know, we're filling on filling out penny a penny album. Uh, Lincoln cents and now we can look for dimes and the thing is these dimes are so gorgeous they're so beautiful they're in such fantastic condition that my goal is going to be to find really nice dimes I'm not going to want to go through my junk silver and put um, circulated coins in here I'm really going to be looking for at least AU uh, quality dimes so look at these. Just gorgeous. Now, here's the, here's the stars of the show right here. Is from uh, 79 to 1989. Right here. Look at... Let me see if I can... Look at that blue one. That 81S. K. 
can, oh man, this video is just not going to do it justice. And then when we move down to this 85S, I got purple, blue, red, violet. It's just an absolute showstopper. And then when we come to the 88, I'm trying to really try to do this justice, guys. I'm gonna do my best to zoom in on these so you can really see hopefully what the, what the color is here. Maybe I can change my lighting. I don't know if a, a harsh white light is better. I don't know. Um, so yeah, there's some real beautiful coins. Like, would you ever send a Roosevelt dime in for grading? <laughs> That's the question I ask this. Like, are any of these actually worth grading? Based on what I've looked at on eBay, you know, there are dimes that sell for three to four hundred dollars. Rosies. Um, slabbed, graded, and colorized, you know, nice, to nicely toned pieces. But look at these things. I hate to be redundant here, but there isn't one, there isn't one disappointing dime in here. And then when we get into the 2000s, I have, there's definitely cameos and deep cameos in here. This 2004 S proof and this silver, both of those are deep cameo for sure. This 2002 silver might be a deep cameo. Um, this 2009 S silver, definitely a deep cameo. The 2009 S, definitely a deep cameo. This 2011 S, definitely a deep cameo. Is it a deep cameo 69? Deep cameo 70? I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, deep cameo... Deep cameo, deep cameo, and then we got this beautiful, the reverse proof, which I love a reverse proof. That could be a cameo, that 2019P, but then that 2014, check that out. I mean, so what did I pay for this? I hope you've left a comment below. What would you pay for it? Tell me what you would pay for this. 90 dimes, incomplete, Dansko book. I paid $1.99 for this. And I asked the guy at the pawn shop, why would somebody why would somebody sell this? And he said, well, he didn't intend to. He brought it in to get a loan. He couldn't pay it back. They held it for an extra month for the collector. And um, he just could not afford to get it back. So I feel like I got a pretty good deal on these. If this is even a $60 book, then I'm at about $2 per coin, which I think I think I did okay. But more importantly, I think that I have a really fun thing to do with my son who really enjoys coin roll hunting and uh, is enjoying coin, uh, coin shows as well. Maybe I can take... Maybe if I take the plastic off of here. Let me see, is that better? Does that give it any better of a justification? Or a, does that do a better justice to, to pull that back? I don't know, I can't tell. Boy, what a stunner. What an absolute stunner. So that's the coins, guys. That is what I've got. I hope you enjoyed this video, kind of a, a, a weird, random thing. But I think one of the things I'm realizing as I get into numismatics is I have to keep an open mind. Yes, I have things that I'm targeting, things that I want, but if an opportunity comes up like this, I want to be ready for it. And by the way, I didn't, I didn't pay cash out of my pocket for this necessarily. I sold, <coughs> excuse me, I sold some things I had laying around the house. So, um, and that's something I'm going to be doing more of there. I have a lot of excess in my life that I'm going to be culling so that I can pick up things like this.
So anyhow, if you haven't subscribed yet, I really hope today is the day I earned your subscription. I thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you on the next one.